Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Kiwi channel. In this video, we are going to see about uh, Android build, which is APK. I think uh, many, many who are worked on mobile testing or not worked on mobile testing, we know about the APK, right? Like uh, even for the Android app, uh, if you want to share something, we'll share the APK only. So that's called uh, build in the software testing field also. Extension we use APK for sharing the uh, build to test it even for the releases in the play store uh, wherever we want to share the build okay so uh, we don't get any information this is just one file dot apk so for the testing purpose uh, we may need about uh, uh, their package name and version version code as well as permissions list and all even there are a lot of information in the apk what are the sdk and all they have used it what is the main activity so a lot more information you can get it uh, from the manifest as well as you can find some kind of source code also some level of source code it is a kind of a reverse engineering uh, but it's not that much a big deal also so that's what uh, we can do it here so there are uh, many ways in this i'm going to show uh, two ways one through online and another through our android studio okay so online uh, what where we can see is like a apk uh, extractor online so there is one i usually use it which is a java compiler apk yeah android apk decompiler so it will decompile and give you a, a gif file something like uh, apk so i have times of india apk which is 25 mb so once you upload and decompile what will happen it will uh, actually it will start decompile and it will uh, ask you to download the gif file okay i think uh, it's starting but uh, this actually online right this will go to uh, somewhere in the server and it will store as of now we are using third party apk is fine but something is more important and confidential if you don't want to share with anyone so but actually we are sharing with their server it's actually a kotlin based app they're using firebase protofor for analytics okay http for uh, maybe uh, some uh, rest api handling and we can see the manifest which is more important here so this app uh, even their youtube api service they are using it uh, here we can see everything about this apk which, which one we have done like uh, times of india right so times of india our package name we can see here uh package something is coming as tata digital uh, but it's not our yeah here it is ttl times of india com dot toi dot something will come that is actually a times of india uh package name okay these are all maybe third party thing they are uh, using it right that's why okay so here we have the activity home activity everything uh this is this is from the online we can find lot of stuff here oh my god okay everything about this application okay this is kind of a reverse thing as well as not only android uh, uh, and like uh, android manifest you can try to find some asset and all the application whatever it has used and there are some data whatever they are trying to uh, show this it's like a multi language stuff okay this is one and we are going to use our android studio this is another method why android studio is like i'm trying to use it because uh, uh, just for a safety purpose we don't want to show our uh, uh, apk or our information we don't want to show our apk there actually even mostly if we, our apk will have the source code we'll know everything but still uh, if you don't want to upload or we don't have internet or something like that maybe times of india app what you have to do is like drag and drop in the manifest sorry uh, android studio it will open actually it will by default it will decompile see you have got the same structure uh, which you got uh, there okay here you will get all the information see here yeah, there you found like kind of a kind of a different structure right see here you are getting the package name as com.ty.reader this is the package name and uh, version code 8435 version name and they have mentioned the same something like that so every build they will update the version code so that's after that only it will take the as a new version so they are using uh, internet access network state notification wi-fi as well as uh, wake lock vibrate uh, what else they are using not uh, serious look permissions thing they are using it all are like whatever request stuff they are using okay uh, 
I think here also you can find a lot of information. So all the activity will be there, all the libraries, whatever you are using, they would have uh, uh, what uh, they would have declared here. Also, they are using some HTTPS pattern to, uh, for example, uh, other things we cannot inject and all right. So dot 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 daily brief. It's it's like a hallowed one HTTPS. So everything is like a HTTPS and some for mobile also you can allow. It's like a, for the SSL purpose. They have mentioned all the data. OK, it's a browsable. Uh, category so this, this is the two way we can uh, use for uh, apk uh, internals also if you want to find something our uh, play services everything there find something related to the code or uh, layout you will get it here and drawables you will get it here the, even the package name so whatever they are using right <laughs> everything will be here the logo icons and all okay see uh, the icons whatever they are using so this is uh, this is a small information but still when you are testing uh, to understand about the app uh, uh, things like uh, you can use this uh, uh, tool and that studio you should have otherwise uh, you can use uh, uh, our online tool so also this is support xsdpa msdp mdpa triple xsdpa so from mdpa to triple xsdpa it will support uh, okay so from the, like for that purpose only they have a different different uh, asset folder drawable folder okay okay guys thanks for uh, watching my video if it is useful for you guys please subscribe and share with your friends thank you